Uh, this is Serenity Leisure's video for this 2009 um, Auto Trail Cheyenne 840 um, in quite exceptional condition, to say the least. Um, you would have seen a lot of photographs of this motorhome, but the video is made just to go alongside those so we can point out any markings to the camper uh, inside or outside. People from a long way away find these videos very helpful. Um, so I had a few of these over the years, I'm quite familiar with them. This one has a particularly high specification. Uh, they're an 8.8 .8, uh, meter long motorhome sitting on the Alco five ton chassis. This one has got the tow bar, so you can pull a small car behind it. The bike rack, uh, we have the bits for that bike rack. They obviously haven't used it, but they're in the garage. Um, outside barbecue point, outside shower point, that's a tool cupboard there. There's a big um, further storage unit underneath there. There is uh, the ledger batteries uh, go in that uh, section there. It's got one on it currently. However, it has the provision. The wiring is already there just to put another one in if you want to. Uh, front end is very nice. Nice and shiny, no nasty scuffs. That uh, number plate, they call it a private plate, GNT273M. Obviously meant something to the previous owner, but it won't mean anything to anybody else, but it comes with the camper anyway. Uh, you've got the big Fiamma awning down the side. Uh, sorry, incorrect. Tool stroke Omni store uh, awning. There's your LPG in there. It has got a bottle. I think it's got bottles on it from memory. Let's have a look. Yep, yeah, there you go. Two gas bottles come with the camper. Oh, it has additional security locks on the doors. You can see there, these come over, and uh, uh, so they deadlock the doors in effect. Electric step, Fiamma uh, additional security handle for the door, which also you can use just to pull yourself up. I won't open the garage, one, because I haven't got the keys. They're in the key box, and two, because um, you'd have already seen the pictures of it. Uh, very nice condition on this side and the other side. They don't tend to mark because if something falls against the sides because they're GRP, so an awning pole or something like that would just uh, just bounce off. Right, internals. Oh, I left the heating on. Toasty in here. Right, starting at the front, this is a um, um, Fiat Ducato, without pointing out the obvious. Uh, three litre, 160 brake horsepower, automatic. Now, the emphasis on the automatic, it is as rare as hen's teeth uh, on one of these for this age. Um, more obvious with sort of slightly later models, but this one has got it uh, nevertheless. It has the leather covered steering wheel, which is an option. It has cab air conditioning, cruise control, uh, reversing camera in on here. And also, I'm not sure if it's got sat nav. You'll have to read the information on it. Um, both front seats are, as you can see, impeccable this was an upgraded upholstery this was an option when this camper was new um, half leather and it's very nice uh, the normal upholstery color for this age of motorhome is um, oh let me think uh, it's a it's a sort of cream patterned one um, <clears throat> but we've never had one with this uh, with this upholstery you'll also note it's got the two cocktail tables one is an option two is a bigger option uh, carpets have been replaced so it's got really nice carpet going all the way through. Um, and these two beds either can be used as singles or a double if required. Uh, it's had all the lights changed to LEDs as well. I just noticed we've got the, all the books are left out on the camera, so I'll just uh, try and put those away just to tidy things up in here a little bit. Oh, there we go. There's a whole box of books here, as well as the manuals and so on and so forth with service history and all stacks of stuff in there. <coughs> okay, get rid of that. Right, um, <clears throat> okay, so looking back now, obviously you can get a really good feel for the way that the motorhome is laid out. Uh, this has also got habitation air conditioning that's an option it has a, a um uh oh, i can't remember the make of it uh it's got a camos um which is road pro uh satellite system uh it's got a 12 volt pace box with it as well <coughs> um it's got 
I think it's got solar panels on the roof. Again, just check the list of options. Um, um, but if anybody said to me, Richard, is there anything else we need to add to this motorhome? No, there isn't really anything else that you could do, would need to put on it. It's got everything uh, that you'd require, uh, particularly for off-grid camping. Um, worktop surfaces are lovely, remain unmarked. All the utilities are really nice. Uh, and all the uh, all the pelvic lighting works as well. A common trait of these is it packs up, and they're uh, um, really difficult to get to. Um, uh, we've replaced them with LEDs before in the past. I think this has already been done, but they are very difficult to get to, and you've got to take half the cabinets apart. Uh, the uh, big um, um, Tepford fridge freezer. This has got a, a microwave. Again, it's an option. Ship's clock. So this door here would closes and then that uh, gives the feeling of a um, uh, sort of privacy in the bedroom, uh, which is ideal for changing and what have you. <clears throat> so then you've got this fabulous uh, island fixed bed. It's a really good bedroom. His and hers wardrobes, his and hers drawers, etc. sort of wood paneling. Gives it a nice expensive feel to the motorhome. You've got a uh, television there, which comes with the motorhome, of course. We don't take anything out. That's a laundry cupboard, um, a laundry storage area. The top comes off. Uh, and then you've got some storage underneath here. There you go. It's a bit dark under there. You can't really see very well. It houses the Truma boiler. What's that I've just spotted? That is a safe. Probably can't make that out. Of a safe so this camper has probably spent some time on the continent before now uh, mattress is really nice no nasty stains or anything on it good size shower with a concertina i uh, sorry bifold um, perspex door all the plastics are nice that discoloration is not discoloration that's how they come from factory You've got white walls and a slightly off-white color for the uh, the plastics that how the house the shower rail etc and then a separate toilet in here tepid c250 electric flush toilet that's all very nice condition wise yeah can't really find any faults in the interior at all uh, it's been very, very well looked after. Um, there's no nasty smells in here of anything. Uh, so no pet smells, no smoker smells, no air fresheners to disguise any smells. It smells as it should do for, uh, for this age motorhome home with this uh, mileage. So all in all, it's showing signs of a very well cared for uh, Auto Trail 840. Okay, I hope you find that helpful. Uh, that completes Serenity Leisure's video for this 2009 uh, Autotrail 840.